Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you a little bit of a Splinterlands update, a special request. Um, a viewer of my channel, Richard HT Jr., just checking, uh, HT2 Jr., uh, requested that I do a little bit of an update and explanation on unlocking soulbound cards for land. Now, uh, so I'm bringing you this. I'm going to try to keep it short and concise. Uh, lately, they haven't talked about it, okay? But uh, up on this page, and I will leave in the show notes the link directly to this page, um, this was one of the proposals uh, that was put out by Matt um, in June. Yeah, the end of June. Uh, so, and it passed. Uh, so basically, it was about the burning of DEC for Soulbound cards. Now, the only thing that that makes these cards be able to do is to stake on land. This does not make them able to be bought and sold on the market. None of that. Now, that is pro uh, they have been talking about that in the future, but let's talk about what we know. So what we know is the government's governance proposal that passed was by Matt. So I have pretty good, um, I have a firm feeling that it, what goes into effect will be pretty close to this, if not exactly this, because guess what? Matt's one of the main guys, right? So, um, so the whole idea behind this is make your soulbound cards able to be staked on land and, uh, and have a side effect of burning DEC in the process. So when this first came up, I was like, uh, my main thought was like, well, why not just buy some other regular cards with the DEC instead of burning it for soulbound but i just went and i checked uh the market and, and this may have been untrue back then but today it is cheaper to go ahead and burn the dec and use your soulbound cards if you have an applicable card that you could you know would work well on uh, land um, it's cheaper uh, right up front than than going ahead and buying another card an equal kind of card uh, on the card market. So um, what they call it is manifesting. And I'm just going to go through uh, this statement so I can get everything correct. Okay, so you can use DEC or DECB, which as we know, DECB can be used for any DEC requirement that requires burning. Uh, this will allow the uh, both Soulbound Reward cards and gla Gladiator cards as well as to any new soulbound cards released in the future the cost to manifest a card to allow it to work on land is proposed to be two times the collection power of the card not counting the max level cp bonus okay and the update is up to 50 percent of the cost of manifesting a card will be able to be paid for using voucher tokens at the value of 200 dec per voucher spent so this basically means you can offset some of your dec price by using some vouchers if you have some excess vouchers, okay? And one voucher will equal 200 DEC. So we'll look at his chart here, but basically going forward, you have a common regular one BCX equals 10 DEC, okay? And then you can do the multi multiplication and uh, for your max level card is going to be 400. And, uh, you know, obviously it takes 400 BCX and that equals 4,000 DEC for a max level common card okay now the golds have different values as well um, one bcx of a gold common is 250 a max level gold common which takes 38 bcx is 9500 the ec or decb okay so i'm not going to sit here and read through this whole chart like i said i will leave the link to this page in the show notes so you can examine it if you uh, have this as part of your land staking strategy. Um, and I would also consider reading through, there's a huge long thread underneath this as to what people think about it. And I'm not really here to say yay or nay. I'm just basically here to report on it. I don't think I will use this strategy. Just from the fact of, you know, from the get go, I've aligned my strategy with uh, buying certain other cards off the market and just being done with it. My Soulbound Reward cards are mainly using being used in battles, and especially my Gladiator cards will not be used on land because I'm using those 
uh, in uh, guild brawls, right? So, but that's just my take on it. Everybody else, you may have some extras laying around that you don't have anything to do with and you don't play a lot. It's an option, right? So more options are always better than fewer. And like he says, this does not mean, <clears throat> or like I said earlier, this does not mean that the cards will become unsold bound or transferable. So you can't buy, sell, trade them, uh, rent them out, none of that, okay? Um, and he does go through the reasoning for the proposed change. Um, basically, at first, he thought it wasn't going to be a problem uh, as far as people just going ahead and, and using their soulbound cards on their land. And after people started bringing up the fact that it would be easy to go ahead and if I was a landowner and I had a number of accounts that had a lot of soulbound cards on them that I had running with bots or whatever, I could just distribute my land plots to each of those accounts, okay, and then use those cards on those accounts. So they came up with this plan to, you know, obviously it's meant to help DEC by burning the DEC, and it's also meant to kind of discourage the, um, I guess, the spreading thin of land plots on multiple accounts that may have been bot farms or, or whatever. Um, but you can read through this. Um, and I'm not here to report either way on it. I think it was a good idea. His reasoning is sound, I think. So, but like I said, this isn't part of my strategy. So, um, and he goes through and he extrapolates with some of the numbers involved. Uh, so, um, there's that. I mean, this is very straightforward. Um, if this is part of your strategy, I would say go ahead and read up on this. Uh, I did just check because I hadn't heard in any of the recent um, town halls or town squares, I hadn't heard of any updates on this. Um, so I do, uh, I did check in the Discord um, and this is believed to uh, take effect at 1.5 or maybe one of those, uh, this may be one of those updates that they were talking about that may uh, occur uh, soon thereafter, like what people are referring to as 1.6 or whatever, um, just soon thereafter. So uh, I believe this is something Matt felt strongly enough about to do a go governance proposal. So I believe he's got a plan to put in action. Um, will it be exactly this? Probably something pretty close to this uh, because this looks this looks logical, right? The the BCX per DEC, I don't know if any of the numbers will change. Um, I'm sure that uh, when they put when it goes live and they put out some exact numbers, we'll hear about it and I'll go ahead and report on it again. Anyway, I hope your day's been going well. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. This has been Bronze Dragon bringing a little bit of an update and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.